Yes, my name is Faye Adelstein. I've been living on the island of Alameda for 12 years. It appears that the application for the U.S. Maritime Service Officer School in Alameda is suffering a last minute interference. Is not this nomination process declared to be free of economic, social, and environmental considerations as criteria? What about political considerations? The mayor of Alameda, in an abuse of her office, has sent a letter to block this nomination. What concerns me and what you must know is that any delay now risks the demolition of the school, which would then destroy the historical significance of the site. Has this commission deferred to the mayor of Alameda regarding the decision today? Rather, then hear what the public has prepared, blocking arguments that attribute to the site the merit it deserves. I will continue with my notes in support of nomination. I strongly support the nomination of the U.S. Maritime Service Officers School for listing on the National Register of Historic Places. The site is essential to understanding our place in history. The architecture demonstrates the principle of form follows function. The buildings are designed so the spaces be used in a highly efficient manner for coordinating the officer's training in numerous skills. This required that the classrooms be furnished, furnished with maritime equipment and machinery. The long continuous rows of operable windows provided for service members to directly observe the weather conditions, simulating life aboard a boat. The film titled Life and Studies of an Officer Candidate at the U.S. Maritime Services School, Alameda, California, is an excellent document of the types of training that took place here and how the site was used. You have 30 seconds. A quote from the application defines the international style of architecture as that which was, quote, designed solely to meet the needs of the common people in the, mach in the machine age. The word solely here indicates and emphasizes the efficient use of the built spaces. The officer's school is an impressive relic of the mobilization efforts that took place in World War II, as well as of the applied technologies. The common men that trained here served in their utmost capacity and many lost their lives in dedication to a common goal to defend liberty. Thank the you, Ms. Adelstein. I'm sorry, that's, that's your time limit. Thank you very much. Um,